All right, that's how it should look. Hello, Nancy. What did you mean when you said before that the school would sell the farm if you lose? Just what I said. Right now, Canute College offsets the cost of maintaining this place with funds from private companies like the Healy Healy. But apparently that money's about to dry up, so if we don't win this competition, there goes the farm. Guess I'll get going. Whatever. It's late, Nancy. Why don't you call it quits for the day? Good morning, Debbie. Nancy, good morning. Got a few things for you today. That storm really shook up those sensors out in the cornfield. Could you put them back in line? After that, you should go spend some time in the field with Frosty. He really wants to show you some of the basics of storm photography. <laughs> Any chance to show off? That's it for now. Have fun! It looks like I need to connect the red beam to the red sensor and the blue beam to the blue sensor. That looks right. No, I am staying at Canute. As it is, he's already near the edge. We just have to give him a little push. No one is going to suspect a thing. I don't know how I feel about this anymore. This is not what I agreed to. I mean, when I said I'd help you, I didn't mean... Way too late to get cold feet here, Frosty. Scott needs to be taken care of. You know that, and I know that. <sighs> You're right. But we can't... No, you're right. It's time to get rid of him. Hello? Grohlmeister here. This Nancy Drew? Yes, it's me. Now, Indy, just when were you planning on bringing me up to speed on all the goings-on out there in Tornado Alley? Sorry, I meant to call... Actually, this isn't the best time. Well, that's no excuse. In fact, it's all the more reason to call me and keep me up to the latest on all the happenings going on out there. Okay, I'll make sure to do that. 
You had better, Indy. I've got my hands full down here at the warehouse. I don't have time to follow up and make sure you're getting things done out there, all right? But now, tell me what you've dug up on the team so far. Tell me about this Scott character. He's a little hard to read. There seems to be some distance between him and the rest of the team. It might be because he wants it that way, but there could be something else. It's almost like no one fully trusts him. Interesting. Hmm. You'll make sure to keep a close eye on that one. Of course, but... But he's not your only suspect? Right. Well, good. Don't hold back. Tell me everything you know. Uh, what's up with the shutter bug? Frosty, is it? He and Debbie are plotting something, and whatever it is sounds a little sinister. Plotting? How so? Well, I overheard them talking. They were talking about how someone, I assume Scott, was close to the edge, and they were going to do something about it. You stay close to the both of them. Report back to me when you're done. So, what's up? Thanks for all the advice. Bye now. Wrong car. Don't forget me. Okay, let's start taking pictures. All right, where's the best place to go? We've got a lot of different formations to spot, so if you head on out to the Fraser Creek Windmill, that'd be perfect right now. This will help you identify the shots you need to take. When we get some good photos, we'll move on. That's a good one. I'll be sure to download the photos into the gallery when we get back to the farmhouse. That's the idea. Keep trying.
You know, I didn't always want to be a storm photographer. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I used to want to be a doctor. What changed your mind? Studying. <laughs> it's hard to stay focused on some boring little book when there's so much going on outside. That's the idea, keep trying. So you got the chasing bug. The chasing bug? The chasing bug. Happens to a lot of people. Once you see a few good storms, it gets in your blood or something. Suddenly, sunny days stop being nice and start being boring. heard of nacreous clouds? What clouds? They're the Bigfoot of clouds. Extremely rare. People used to think they didn't exist. No one has gotten a good picture of them. They're only near the North and South Poles, but they have this special way of catching the light, and from what I hear, it's amazing. It turns the whole sky red, or green, or yellow. I get enough money together, that's what I'm going after. You've got to keep a sharp eye out or you'll miss what's right in front of you. What's up? I need to get going. Oh, I almost forgot. Do me a favor and give this to Chase for me. I borrowed it from him. Keep forgetting to return it. Sure.
Thanks, Nancy. You're the bomb. It's late, Nancy. Go to bed. Get off, get off, get off! Who's he talking to? How come something that makes such a mess be worth so much money? I'm never gonna get this stuff off. These are my best boots, dang it! Get out! That was a little weird. Hey there. Frosty asked me to return this to you. Thanks. Does he borrow stuff from you a lot? Hardly ever. Him and me don't exactly have a ton of stuff in common. He's the outgoing, sophisticated type, and I'm just a simple country boy. Won't let me forget it, neither. What's Debbie's relationship to Frosty like? Well, I always figured she didn't have much use for him. But you know, lately, seems like she and him been hanging out with each other a lot. Nothing romantic or anything like that, just, you know, talking. Sure don't know about what. I'll let you go. Bye now. This is a broadcast of the Hello? emergency is notification there? system. There have been multiple reports of a tornado touchdown in the area. All listeners are advised to seek shelter until further notice. I'd better get down into the cellar until the storm passes. Shoot, the power must be out. I'm looking for candles. Can you help? Someone is out there, right? Hello? Who's there? Hello? Better look into that in the morning. Good morning. What did you think of that storm last night? Pretty loud, huh? Well, yeah. I think it would have been impossible to sleep through that. You'd be surprised. Chase and Frosty? Those two could sleep through a circus explosion. Before I forget, Scott wants to talk to you. So make sure you go in there as soon as you leave here, okay? Sure thing. Since it doesn't look like we'll be chasing any storms today, the prairie dogs that have taken up residence by the cornfield, I just got notice that the ag people are going to exterminate them. What? But that's not fair. They're not hurting anyone. You're right. Fortunately, there's time for you to move them to the other side of the barn. But you're going to have to move quickly. I told Chase to come up with a way to move them so they don't get hurt. Hopefully he's figured it out by now. So after you talk to Scott, go talk to Chase. Got it. Great! Thank you so much! I do it myself, but I'm buried in work right now. You're a lifesaver. Literally.